So Muhammad was a prophet, according to the BBC. I guess if your organization is the center of decades-long pedophilia scandals, your best bet may be to throw your support behind a prophet who was certainly no stranger to molesting little girls. Once again, beloved, I greet you and I welcome you to Lost in Media. My name is Boache Steven and you know for sure that whenever I get in my city to Bawi, dismantling those several assertions that has been made against Christianity since time immemorial. Well, on this show, I've always been telling you that I present reasonable polemics against authentic historic Islam and I create the awareness that in Jesus Christ descended purposely for man's redemption. A singer or a musician in Nigeria, northern uh, state or northern part of Nigeria, has been sentenced to uh, death. Okay, he's um, uh, said to be uh, hanged to death, and because uh, he was uh, found uh, circulating some music about uh, whatever, and surely this ceases to be something blasphemous against the prophet Muhammad. Uh, therefore, he is said to be put to death and BBC reported this and they actually said uh, it's about the Prophet Muhammad. So the video is actually saying, okay, BBC may have, uh, they do not know much about Islam, okay, and when we're talking about prophets, seriously, Muhammad cannot be categorized under the prophets the Bible speaks of. I'll be getting the Quran lists several many prophets, but none of them actually acted the way Muhammad acted. You see, he was uh, found with a pedophilia act or a pedophile act because Aisha was uh, six years and uh, uh, he married her and he consummated the marriage at nine uh, at age nine and uh, he was also in his uh, 50s or oh, you get that so no prophet would ever do this if indeed he was a man of god he wouldn't do this because jesus christ wasn't about all these stuff all, the, all these fleshly uh last stuff so how we get to him so uh perhaps i'm not in nigeria that's why me, me, i'm going I'm, I'm going spot free for putting forth all these stuff or maybe we've been circulating several lot of messages or informations about uh muhammad but we do not present anecdotal reports you see like we give you several lot of references uh sources that actually affirm that what we're saying are true i've been giving you bibliographies and footnotes and others so why do you have to be attacking people or oh, because they are lambasting your religion meanwhile they're presenting um reasonable polemics or they are presenting actual sources well we're taking a quick break and we are returning to the video he's actually commenting or running a commentary on this and it's very much um listenable You're welcome back, beloved. May God richly bless you for waiting for me. Yes, I've always been telling you about Skin Code Cosmetics. You see, if you really want to eradicate any dark spots in your skin, or if you are uh, militate, you want to militate against uh, uh, what is it, uh, stretch marks and uh, those epidemic diseases and all that that are uh, sufficient in your body. Seriously, they they they, they put you in uh, some awkward position because sometimes you would want to mingle with certain people, but you can cannot get access to that all because you think of uh, the stuffs that are in your skin and they are not pleasant when uh, seen by people. Well, Skin Code Cosmetics has come for you. Surely, wheresoever you are, they have a product that's actually going to fight for you. And uh, wheresoever you are around the world, we have delivery services and they're going to deliver them at your doorsteps. Well, let's enjoy this commentary from David Wood. So Muhammad was a prophet, according to the BBC. I guess if your organization is the center of decades-long pedophilia scandals, your best bet may be to throw your support behind a prophet who was certainly no stranger to molesting little girls. An upper Sharia court in the Hasawa Filin Haki area of the state said Yahya Sharif Aminu, 22, was guilty of committing blasphemy for a song he circulated via WhatsApp in March. Mr. Sharif Aminu did not deny the charges. Judge Khalid Aliyu Muhammad Khani said he could appeal against the verdict. States across Muslim-majority northern Nigeria use both secular law and Sharia law, which does not apply to non-Muslims. 
Only one of the death sentences passed by Nigeria's Sharia courts has been carried out since they were reintroduced in 1999. The singer, who is currently in detention, had gone into hiding. So you see, beloved, um, it's uh, somewhat, um, I don't know, I don't want to put anything. I'll be getting to by. That's Islam for you. That's Islam for you. Sometimes, like, people in Ghana will tell you Muslims are moderate. You see, they are tolerable and all that. Yes, Christianity is tolerable. And Jesus Christ actually taught Christians to be tolerating whatever. I'll be getting, even, even if people are blaspheming against, uh, him, uh, against Christianity, or people are molesting us, or persecuting us, and all that. If you read uh, Matthew, uh, the Acts chapter 4, verse number 18, when the apostles, most especially Peter and John, were being uh, persecuted, uh, seriously, they were even wept, okay, and uh, they were told to never mention the name Christ anywhere across uh, the globe, most especially uh, Jerusalem. But uh, Peter had the gut to ask the Sanhedrin, uh, tell us, is it, is it worth for us to listen to you, these human beings, or we should listen to God? You see, they never intended of even exchanging a sword with them. Sometimes people will tell you about the Crusaders, okay, but I've been telling you that they were pseudo-Christians, okay? They were charlatans, they were flim flam men, con artists, religious imposters. I'll be good because Jesus Christ in Matthew 5, verse number 43 through 48, never ever uh, taught Christians to be doing that. He said, We should even pray for our enemies. I'll be getting He said, We shouldn't ever exchange sword with people. We need to love even our enemies because God loves both. Uh, both of those that hate him and those that love him. He reigns for everybody and the sun shines for everybody, both the sinner and the good. I'll be getting so that's exactly what Christians are to make if we want to follow uh, Jesus Christ. But Islam isn't like that. The Christian matter, I will tell you, I will die for what I believe. But the Islamic matter or the Muslim matter will tell you, you will die for what I believe. Well, let me read something small to you here, and I think this is this is the report uh, read by David Wood, and I think I have to emphasize certain stuff to you here. And, and uh, a musician in Nigeria's northern state of Kano has been sentenced to death by hanging for blaspheming against the Prophet Muhammad. That's the report from BBC. An upper Sharia court in the Hausa uh, Hausawa are uh, feeling. A hockey area of the state uh, said Yahya Sharif Aminu 22 was guilty of committing blasphemy for a song he circulated via WhatsApp in March. So Mr. Sharif Aminu did not deny the charges. He didn't deny the charges that were uh, given him. Uh, Judge Hadi uh, Ali U. Muhammad Kani said he could appeal against the verdict. Okay, you, could, you can appeal against it. Okay, states uh, across Muslim majority northern Nigeria use both secular law and Sharia law, uh, meaning perhaps the state law itself and also the Sharia, the Islamic law, which does not apply to non-Muslims, but this is not true. Okay, Muslims would want for non-Muslims to also uh, comply. You get that uh, fine, perhaps if Islam has a dominance uh, in an area, they would want to introduce the Sharia law and it has great effect uh, on the people than the uh, secular law. That's exactly what Muslims would want for every state around the world to actually grab to because they see uh, secular uh, rulership or secular governance to be a threat to uh, the propagation of Islam and that's why you hear of Boko Haram that is the actual pronunciation is Boko Haram that is westernization is forbidden book is Haram you see that's why the uh, you, you hear of suicide bombings subway bombings and uh, reporters fancy the uh, news anchors fancy BBC will tell you uh, it's some terrorists who has ever who has ushered into the Islamic religion and blah 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 but you see if you, if you study well about Islam you get to know that they are centrist they are not terrorists so I do not term these or reference these people as uh, terror terrorists or I do not refer reference their acts as 
terrorism. I'll be get to me. They are centrists because whatever they're doing are the epitome of what their prophet Muhammad did. And if I'm to conclude this, and I think that it's more if you if you go to Google, you can search and surely you get you get much information about what has happened recently in Nigeria. Only one of the death uh, sentences passed by Nigeria's Sharia courts has been carried out since they were uh, reintroduced in 1999. Well, uh, what I would love to tell you is Islam isn't fancy how you see it to be. I've been telling you that Islam categorizes the entire world into two equal two two parts. Okay, they uh, divide the world, the entire world, into two parts. They have the Dar al Hab and Dar al Islam. Dar al Hab has the meaning of um, the house of ignorance or the house of war, the area where. Uh, uh, Islam isn't dominated. The areas around the world that are not having Islamic domination. And they are under obligations to fight or militate or to, 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 to introduce aggression or to do whatever, uh, to, to apply any force so as to be able to conquer all these areas. But this time around, they will not come by the sword. They will not do it I'll take the areas at the mouth of the sword, but rather uh, through migrations and migrations and marriages and all that. I hope you get with me. So that's what Muslims are doing currently. And secret, secret meetings are going on allegedly in Ghana or, and in areas that are not having Islamic domination. They plan always and every time on how to overtake uh, the country. And also, um, that al Islam has to do with the area where, has be, uh, where Islam uh, has domination or the places that. Islam has already conquered. Well, perhaps you would be uh, you, you you would be uh, skeptic about what I'm talking about here. But you see, you need to uh, note this: modern communication has shrunk the globe. You know that. So even if even if you are in your living room, you can actually access whatever is going on around the world. Okay, you may be in Ghana, but you can know what is going on in Nigeria, you can know what is going on in Afghanistan, Ivory Coast, or wherever. Why? Because modern communication has shrunk the globe the internet is actually helping and you may you you might not travel to anywhere but rather you can get what actually is going on over there well we ending it up here and surely if you think islam is uh, tolerable make sure to drop your comment under the comment section if you think it is intolerable drop your comment under the comment section and it, you may see islam to be tolerable because they have not dominated ghana or they've not dominated your area but we pray for such not to happen. But if it should happen, you will realize whatever I said over here. And perhaps myself, I've already been sacrificed. Because looking at all what I'm doing over here, Muslims never like what I'm doing over here. So uh, we pray it doesn't happen. But if it happens, I'm already gone. Well, we ended up here. And shout out to everybody. Drop your comment under the comment section. Like the program. Subscribe to, to the channel. And also make sure to help in sharing the program to all your loved ones. Uh, may God richly bless you. Meet up here once again. Bye-bye.